Hello and welcome back to the follow along exercise. In this exercise we are going to modify our sun filter. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is add a color matrix and the color matrix is going to uh, change the greenish brownish color here to orange. So let's go to add effect color matrix and insert it. I'm going to move it up above composite and behind blend and I want the input to the composite to be the output of the color matrix and I want to now modify the values for the color matrix. We want the red, green and blue values to combine so that only a red and a green value combination appears because a combination of red and green results in orange. We want to convert all the red to red. We want to convert all the green to red. We want to convert all the blue to red. And we also want to convert all the red to uh, green, but we don't want it to have the same amount of green as red, so we're going to add a 0, 0,4 there. The same with the green value. The green will become green, but only uh, 0, only 40% of the green will remain and the blue will be converted to green as well. And then the blue we want to remove entirely from the image. And finally the alpha channel stays the same as it was before. Now it looks uh, nicer than be did before, but one thing I don't like is the contour of the sun. The contour of the sun is too crisp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a bit wavy. In order to do that, I'm going to use the displacement map. So I click on displacement map and I click on add effect and I want the turbulence to be the input for the displacement map. Excuse me, I want the output of the composite to be the input for the displacement map and the displacement map itself I want to have the turbulent background. Now let's change the scale to 8,0. Finally, I want to add a blur. I go to Add Effect, Gaussian Blur, and I add a 1% blur. And now we have an interesting sun effect. Next, we are going to modify the clouds a bit. We are also going to use a turbulence and a displacement to modify the clouds. I'm going to click on new and rename the filter to clouds cloud and I'm going to select one of the clouds and remove the filter that's been applied and add the cloud filter. I'm going to add a turbulent effect and I'm going to give it a frequency of how much 0, 0,4 no 0, 0,04 something like that and then I'm going to add another effect which is the displacement map 
and I'm going to use the turbulence as the displacement map and the source graphic as the original and I'm going to set this scale to let's play with it something like 70 something like that now I see it has got a sharp edge at the bottom which I don't want so I'm going to change the filter settings and I'm going to increase the height of the filter settings to include the bottom part finally I want to increase the octaves of the cloud remember this increases the detail with which the noise is generated and I think four octaves should be enough and as a very last step I'm going to apply a filter called Bevel's Smart Jelly and as you can see all the effects associated with the bevel and smart jelly are applied beneath the last effect let's apply the same filter to the other cloud and save our file and i will see you in the next theory exercise thanks for watching bye bye